For this playthrough, because we're gonna be going after 100% achievement, I made a brand new account on my Xbox that has never done anything, actually. So, don't think I got downloaded is Stranded Deep, and it's 0%, right? Nothing. We got a few wrecks and stuff. Very cool. Well, let's get to land real quick. Now, if we get lucky and we find a potato or something like that, we can start doing a few other achievements. But if we do not get lucky to find a potato or any kind of fruit that we can grow and potentially eat, we won't be able to do the no meat, no fish thing. Which are other achievements. Wait a minute. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so we're gonna go through the island. We're gonna go ahead and follow the tutorial. The first thing we're gonna do is just go through and collect everything that we possibly can. So there you go, we got two rocks. I'm actually just gonna go like that. I can go like this. that on cooldown that's always important especially here while we're on console there ain't nothing here is there dear god got a small container over there which might serve as a decent shelter right here and those can't be made into a pile we're not going to go to the wrecks just yet because i want to see if we have any potatoes, fruit, or anything like that that we can go ahead and make. But before we do all that, I think we should go ahead and make a lashing. For the crafting menu, they're going to want us to pin this on there, and then they're going to want to craft it. So let's just get that done. There you go. We got a knife. Grab this. I'm actually going to eat that because... Uh, my SPF is pretty low, so now it's 100%. I'll leave that. I'm curious. Do I have anything that I that's farmable, you know? Is that a thing on this island? It's kind of a crapshoot, honestly. And uh, oh, we have fruit. Okay, this is cool. This is great. We could use that to eat. And there is potatoes. Oh, we're going to pick that. I'm going to pick that. And we have some curve fruit. Wow, this is great. I did a dry run a little bit earlier. And, oh, there is even more potatoes. And honestly, I had nothing growing on here that I could use to farm. So getting a new map is pretty nice. All right, so that's on cooldown. We have a number of growables. So if we come up into here, we're going to need to do some work, honestly. I'm going to want to make this, which means I need craftsmanship level two. This is actually not that hard. So first of all, let's get craftsmanship level one. Oh, this is so good. We're not going to eat these. We're going to plant them. There's our stuff over here. Ah. You know what? Let's go ahead and kill these crabs. Stop. I want to skin it. That's going to unlock. Oh, there we disgusting. go. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this stone. I need all of this because I need to get my crafting level to two, which is pretty easy, honestly. So we have that. Putting this stuff in piles and in any kind of wooden crates or anything like that just helps with render and keeping the game smooth. You know what I mean? So what we want to do is we're going to make a couple stone tools until we hit one. Shouldn't be too many. There it is right there. We can come back in here. We can build the crude axe. So we'll go ahead and put that up. 
Got that. Now we're styling and profiling here. On level two, we can make this as well. However, I did not see any cloth, which is really weird, honestly. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's go ahead and go into here. These are gonna be key in the first 10 days because actually on normal, you can live, as long as you don't take like a lot of health damage, we can live a decent amount of time on just three or four rations. So between the rations, the coconuts, and what we grow, we should be able to get a number of achievements. Achievements like fish or friends, which is no fish for 10 days, um, go gr gone green, which is no meat total, which is why I was really excited to get the fruit and the potatoes, because as soon as we can start making farm plots, then that's what we're gonna do. But I really need cloth. And I don't know if going, this way actually counts as not being on land, but I'm gonna take a shot. Okay, well that's that. I know going in there is definitely, oh, probably not the best thing to do, so let's not do that. Oh, sweet God, thank you very much. Okay, so let's we don't even know yet. Okay, so now that we have that and it's getting dark, we're gonna go around and get a bunch of wood. And I'm gonna go after the easy stuff, the ficus right now initially, and we're gonna make crude spears. Crude spears is what we're gonna make. We're gonna make that until we get level two. That's not gonna be very hard at all. And we're gonna need the spears at some point anyways, and we can upgrade those spears to refined spears later on, which honestly is the best damage in the game. And it doesn't matter. And yes, the higher your hunting level, the more damage you do. However, when I tested it out, it didn't matter what my level was because everything did the same amount of damage equally and raised up equally, except for refined spears, which of course did double. So I always go for the spears in this playthrough, but hey man, you do you. Do you. be getting dark soon and it gets pretty dark out here so we're gonna have to go back to camp and make the campfire soon okay why can't i hit that buggy ass thing whatever and it still has issues it's not eight years old on console but i mean dear god come on man let's get this together yep that is a no-go just the luck of the way it spawned. Okay, so it's getting dark. We're gonna go back. Get a few things going here. First thing we're gonna do, cause this is all going to crafting experience anyways, we're gonna put in the fire. This is so much easier on controller. Wow. It's a pain in the butt on mouse and keyboard. Catch the meat. We need to cook the meat. There we go. Pick a coconut. We'll do that tomorrow. In the meantime, what I need to do is go ahead and continue crafting. And there it is. Crafting level two is completed, which means now we can make the crude hoe. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. There we go. So now we just need to go ahead and get what? Four pieces of rope. And I really don't have, I really don't have it. I think I got enough for two. Two is better than nothing, so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, wait a minute. One thing that we need, did not think about, I need to double check to see, yeah. So one, two ropes for the water still. Okay, that's gonna be pretty important, I think. The water still. Now, yes, I know at the time of making this walkthrough, 
there is a bug where I can put three coconuts down and I can just infinitely drink, but I need the water still so that I can start watering the crop plots. That's gonna be really important. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go around the island and see if I can get any more of the fibrous leaves and then we'll meet back here. more potatoes so the first thing we need to do is make the water still now i went through and pretty much harvested everything i could on the island as you guys can see there's i actually left like there's a tree over there i need to grab but then i left one tree because there's a part in the tutorial where it tells you to cut the tree and i don't know if it's going to be buggy or if it's actually going to count all the trees that i've already cut down so that's the only reason I left that. Now, there is a couple things here. It's gonna want us to go ahead and it's gonna teach us how to drink from coconuts, but it doesn't ever explain that if you drink more than two coconuts in 10 seconds, actually, you know what's easier to do this? Grab a crude spear. It does more damage than your ax and it, you're not putting the wear and tear on your ax or anything. And it's gonna want us to drink from it. That's good because there it is. And I'm gonna drop that and I'm gonna drink the next one. I'm gonna grab it. Go ahead and check our time, 6.50. So at seven o'clock we can go and drink more. Now I'm using the item pile bug for this. I mean, obviously, but if it's already been patched by the time you guys are watching this, you will have to rely on the water still and the limited resources of coconuts that do not respawn in the game, okay? your water that's how it's got to be let's go ahead and check we can drink so let's take two more whoops drink drink check the time six fifty six twelve so it's six seven seven twelve words are hard so it's seven twenty two we can do more we're okay foods not even halfway it's about it's dropped about 40% at this point. Not a problem, not really, not, not really a problem. Okay, so what we wanna do is come over here. I wanna make two lashing. And I was able to actually find a full stack, so of fiber sleeves, so we're pretty good. And then the yucca that we had, do have on the island will spawn about every 48 hours. So in a couple days, all the yucca will respawn. If you're playing on hard mode, add an extra 24 hours in game to that. So we have this, let's go ahead, quick craft this, and then we can drink this because it makes that coconut water fresh. So you don't even need to worry about that. We are good to go. Now let's go ahead and get some palm fronds. There we go. Give me that. Just give me all of them, you know what? Place down a shelter, we'll do that later. First things first, I got some important things to do here. We get our cloth. We need to get our rocks. And I'm gonna grab this. I do have potatoes on me. Uh, let's see. There's the other potatoes. I'm gonna grab that as well. And I wanna put my water still close to it. And I think, even though I'm gonna have it over there, I think this is like a cool area to put it. You know? Let's go ahead and put that. It's only crafting level two. Super easy to get that down. I'm gonna take these and we're gonna, I'm gonna drop them right there. We'll make a pile of those here a little bit. Those do not respawn, so. It's good to get those going while we're waiting for our yucca to grow so we can harvest all that so that we have fuel for our water still. Now getting our farm plots in early is gonna be pretty much key to getting a number of achievements unlocked, including Fisher Friends, which is no fish for 10 days, Gone Green, which is no meat for 10 days. We do have a couple rations here that we're gonna utilize and on normal, you can go a good long time with just those three starter rations. I think I've gone just on those on a test about three and a half to four days with just those. But that's not 
10 days, right? So that's why we need to get these farm plots up and running because that's gonna be pretty much key to what we're gonna be doing. So here we go, we can start putting things down. Let's put you right there. And you right there. And that's all I got for right now, but that's okay. That in there, put that in there, sweet. So that gets that going. I am gonna need to make a flask. Let's do that, and then we'll drink that water. See how we're doing with our water. Our water is actually looking really good. Let's come over here. start putting it in now if we could get lucky we get a storm that i usually get every single day on pc that would be pretty cool i'm not really that lucky though we'll leave that right there i'm gonna grab this and put that in there okay so that gives me half if i could get one more get that to half i'd be cool so what do we got left i got enough to go ahead and do one more farm plot. So that is exactly what I want to do with the last of my fibrous leaves. And I can't go out into the water looking, even if we had like Rex out in the water or anything, you can't go out and do that. Oop, I just heard the water drop. Because we're gonna be staying on land. Since we're not gonna be able to eat meat and we really need to babysit our farm plots and everything kind of coincides with 10 days. So if we do this correctly, at the end of 10 days, we'll have unlocked Island Hermit achievement, Gone Green achievement. If we don't sleep during those 10 days, which is gonna be a real pain in the butt because after a couple of days, we're gonna get tired and we won't be able to run, but we will get the Seafarer achievement, which is don't sleep on land for 10 days. And there's always a little bit of bugs and how to get that to work. So. I'm just not going to sleep for 10 days. That should be pretty fun. Plant it and it will grow, which we should have just unlocked. And day 10 survival, which is survive for 10 days. And that'll be like the first 10 days. And there'll be a number of other achievements we'll be getting in the next couple episodes. But for now, that's what we're doing. Besides, potatoes are pretty important. You know what I'm saying? We're going to need that for the fuel so we can get the heck out of here. So, I mean, we might as well start now. Later, right there. See how my food is down to three bars. I mean, I'm doing pretty good. I haven't touched any food at all yet. And we're, you know, what? It's noon on the second day, so. And yeah, I probably should have put this literally right next to it, but I wasn't sure where I was gonna put all the plots. So that's why I didn't do it. But if you have the ability to put your water right next to your farm plots, I mean, it goes without saying, right? It's going to definitely be a lot better for you. So let's go ahead. Okay, those are in the ground. And the best thing I need to do now, we can go ahead and do the shelter thing. So let's cut up all these palm bunches because we're going to need these for the water still since... Uh, there is no fibrous leaves on this island at the moment, and I need to wait for the yucca to respawn. There we go. Move all the logs over here. Now we can deal with those at a later date. We also need to keep an eye out on our, our axe because if it breaks before I have any more fibrous leaves, I'm pretty much, you know, boned. All right, so we are, our SPF is at zero. I can't actually go in the water because I'm gonna, I have to stay on land for 10 days. And this is gonna be a problem because sunstroke will start draining our water pretty fast. So what we need to do is go ahead, put all, let's fill this up first of all. And then let's just go ahead and make a pile with this right next door. Now I can't make the shelter yet because I don't have any lashing because I made it all for farm plots. But that's fine because the farm plots are more important. We will have fibrous leaves for lashing later. So we'll deal with that when we get that. What we need to do now is get out of the sun, but I don't have 
literally, I don't have a hammer and I don't have lashing, so I have to do the old block the sun with the tr with the tree trick and just let it go. Now, once our hunger drops to zero, we'll start taking health damage. So once it drops to zero, I'll go ahead and eat one of the rations. In the meantime, let's see how we're doing. We got one bar of SPF and I need to go check my farm plots because those are more important. So let's see, half, that's fantastic, half, half, okay, cool. I can't believe how lucky we did. I would say if you started on an island where you didn't get as lucky, you didn't get any potatoes or any kind of fruit, I would just, and you were going after 100% achievement and you were following this particular walkthrough, then you may want to think about regenerating your map and starting fresh before you get really deep into the game so that you can go ahead and get that done. Or you can wait till you're really established and you have tons of vegetables growing and tons of fruit growing where you can just go ahead and eat all of that for the next 10 days and not have to worry about it. So we're almost out of food. My SPF is 100%. Our water's pretty low. We're just gonna go ahead and go back. We're gonna get one ration and eat that. Go ahead and double check our farm plots, which are probably fine. I'm just, there's not a lot to do at this point on the island, especially since I don't have anything like lashing to make a a hammer so that I could start building our raft. Remember, do not touch the compass in here. Leave it alone because we're, we need to go for the achievement as well to play the game without a compass, which is not that bad. And there we go. And we can go ahead and get some water from our coconuts here. Which puts us up to max. We're okay. As much as I would love to eat these, they're spoiled. And that's fine because we can still plant them. But it's getting late, and so I'll probably spend the night just chilling here, doing nothing. I'm not going to sleep. And as you can see, I can't anyways because I don't have a shelter, so I might as well just keep going. Good morning, survivors. It's about seven o'clock in the morning on day two. I'm actually going around the island this morning, seeing if any palms have actually spawned in. So far, only one young pond is, palm has spawned in, and uh, it's going to hurt because I need three more so I can finish this tutorial. Things ain't looking too good right now. We may have to wait a little bit. Oh, come here, you little monster. like underwater spiders, crabs, just nasty little things. And our food is about just below two bars. Water is pretty good, actually. I think I'm going to come over here and just get some of this. I don't think much has respawned, if any, honestly. This one that I can't get, I would really like to be able to get. Be a pal. That buggy game. Just the way it spawned in, I guess. We're pretty much, oh, there's one right there. Can I get this one? Maybe if I get this tree, can I get this tree? I can get the coconut though. See ya. Let's dump that over there. I'd like to try to get this. No. So there's two fibrous leaves that have actually spawned inside that we cannot access. That's, that's gonna hurt a lot, actually. It's just the role of the game, man. It's the way this game plays. Buggy. Get used to it. That's all I can tell you. And yeah, so really only one so far. Ugh, that is painful. Well, there's not much I can do at this point. 
except stand around and kind of babysit the crop plot. I'll have to eat pretty soon. I might just start eating some coconuts. I really don't want to dip into our supplies over there, so I think I'll do a couple coconuts. Might as well drink it, right? Now, let's see. Tool durability is at 34%. Now each half counts as one whole coconut for some weird reason. So we can only eat two halves. And that'll bump us up a little bit. 925. All right, now we're talking. There we go. If anything else is respawned. Kill all the crabs I can. It helps with hunting level. And eventually we'll be able to eat meat, right? And we'll have a stockpile of it until we can make a fishing pole because uh, if we come up into here, we go over to our achievements. If we check our achievements, there's actually one First of all, fishing season is open. Catch your first fish with the fishing rod. So if you used a fishing spear to catch a fish, uh, this that's it. You're, you're not going to be able to do this. So we're going to wait until we can make a fishing pole, which is going to be a minute, right? So let's just dive in here. We don't have a whole lot going for us at the moment. Here's our fishing rod. Ooh. Three lashing, dear God, man, dear God. Oh, oh, that's what's going on. No, we got some stuff spawning in. What time is it? It's about 11 o'clock. All right, cool. Let's, let's get this. There we go. And uh, let's keep going around to see as much as we can get for his respawn value. Awesome. We got some more here. Ah, we need all of this. To be honest, I'd like to get this tutorial done, and then I would like to get two more farming plots up so that we can really start getting our food situation set. Yeah, I, I see you. Let's move you over here so I can actually see you better and deal with you at a later time. Okay. Nah, the fruit and everything will not respawn, so don't even bother trying. Pretty much the only thing that we're really going to get that respawns here is the little crabs and the yucca and the young palms, which give us fibrous leaves. Okay, so this tree is still here. I'm going to leave that there. Ah. Check our food. Food is not bad. Let's see, what do we got here? How's our water situation looking? Beautiful. We have 15. 15. That is a beautiful thing. Okay, so let's get this done. So, place down a shelter. In order to place down a shelter, we're going to need four palms. It's actually going to hurt our water production here. Oh, it's raining. This is beautiful. Which is just nonsense. That's it. The tutorial is complete. We're gonna save our game so we keep our progress. So just to recap here at the end, we have five achievements done. We did the tutorial, which is an achievement and that's been unlocked. We planted our first farm plot, which unlocked an achievement, that's done. We cooked some crab meat, we did not eat it, that's done. We skinned the crab, obviously, that's done. And we crafted a stone tool. We're currently working on Fisher Friends, 10 consecutive days without eating fish. The Island Hermit achievement, spend 10 consecutive days on one island, so we're not going in the water. We're going after Gone Green, 10 consecutive days without eating meat, because if you're not eating fish, you might as well not eat any meat. We're also going after the Seafarer achievement, don't sleep on land for 10 consecutive days, and we're just not gonna sleep, because I have to stay on land the island hermit achievement so i can't like build a raft and go out anywhere so i might as well do that also if you're new to the game i'm going to leave a number of resources guides walkthroughs all kinds of things down in the description 
go ahead and check those out if you guys are interested in me help. There's also a Discord where I am currently present and stocked with all kinds of people very knowledgeable about this game. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button. It's free and it's the best way to support this channel. I'm Granddaddy Gamer and I'll see you guys tomorrow.